Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali. You are watching Sija video. Today we will make this kind of stylized ripple effect in Unreal Engine 5.5. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So first I'll create a material M ripple. And to make a ripple, we need to make a ring. And to make a ring, you can use a texture or there are lots of ways inside the material. And I have already made some uh, tutorials for that. So I'll do that again. So let's take a uh, transparent and lit oh, because this is uh, this is stylized. So we can use this mask. OK, I'll use unlit to side it. Basically, if you have a radial and if I preview this, this is radial. First thing you can do, you can take the sign and just preview this and make this. It's already making ring, but you this is sharp from one side, faded from other side. So if you make the sign two, it will be faded from both sides. And now you can control the width by using power or subtract or any other thing. Okay, so now you have the control. But the width is decreasing from both sides, from this side and this side. But in my ripple, what I want, the outer width of the circle should be same. The inner should change. So this will move from here to here. Okay. So for that, what I'll do, let's say you have this uh, radial and I'll make this density a little high. So it will be like very sharp. Okay. Let it preview. Let it make this. Okay. And I'll duplicate this. And of course, this is the same. And default radius is 0.5 for both. But if I decrease the radius of this like 0.3, so it will be smaller. And now from the bigger, if I subtract this is smaller, I will have a ring. And now we can just in increase this value and only the, uh, uh, only the inner radius will increase because this is the inner radius. Okay, so let's say you have the particle color, connect this here and multiply this and connect this here. And to animate this value, you can also use the alpha here or any other thing and you can use the dynamic parameter. So I'll just call this inner radius. And default will be 0.3 less than this. This has the 0.5. Okay, so I'll just save this. Okay, it's taking time. So now I'll make a Niagara and I'll take the I'll take the empty and NS ripple. Inside this, I'll take the fountain. Let me also save all. Stylized ripple. I'll just save the map here. Okay, so we have this. First thing what I need is I don't need any velocity and gravity. I just need these particles to align on the ground. So for that, let's make delete this and make the size of the sprite. Maybe like 100 and red or 50 and red. But this is camera facing. Okay, so first we have to align it. So I'll just use the custom alignment, custom facing vector. I'll take the align to mesh orientation. And by default, it will align on the axis, on the X. But instead of X, I want Z. Now it aligns with the ground. And I don't need this much of particle, maybe just five particle. And they should be like, Increasing the size over life like this. Okay, like this. Now, instead of this material, this default, I'll use this ripple material. And in the dynamic parameter, default value should be less than 0.5. Let's say 0.3. I'll use. So now we have this, and let's say 0.45. So very thin. Cool. And if I'll make it 0 0.5, there will be no ring. So we can animate it. So like, like this. So on the both ends, it is 0 
and in here 0 0.2 it is like 0 0.4 or maybe 0.45 cool and you can because it is just from the one axis one point you can take the shape location and take any location like i'll take the sphere and i'll just scale it on the z and reduce this to maybe 10 so it will be little randomness i'll just use two just to add little random so it is not perfectly aligned cool and the next thing is when they becoming thinner these rings they should also divide into the like divide into separate parts so for that you can take a noise texture and if you don't have noise texture you can simply take the noise okay so if i'll take this noise first i'll make it 2d this is 3d noise so i'll just take the break 2d make 3 so take the break plot 2 and make plot 3 and connect this here and then take the texture coordinate so now this is now 2d and that is preview this is how it looks i just make this some settings here like i'll take the board knowing and these are the my settings and maybe i'll change this to maybe 2 now what i can do is we can basically multiply these together so it will it will be like black it has some black and because this is the opacity mask it will automatically like uh, dissolve that black part see but I want to control it. So what I'll do here, I'll take the step node. And in the step node, it will give you this 0 to 1 value. So 1 is white, 0 is it will be black. So I can animate it. So I'll just connect this and I'll call this erode or dissolve anything. So 1 means white, 0 means black. So I will go from 1 to 0 in my curves. Take time to save. My project is too big. Okay. Saved. So now here in the dining parameter, road value is 0. I'll make it 1. So these are the rings. If I decrease it like 0.5, you can see it's dividing into the parts. So basically, I can animate it from 1 to 0, but not from start, maybe after point, point 0.4 or maybe 0.7 or 0.5. Oh, maybe 0.4 was okay. See? And also, this thing, this curve. yeah cool so this is what you can do i'll just make this less random here and also you can make this local and just drag it here see so this is how you can make and it should not like uh, continuously spawning like this you can add some variation so in the spawn probability i just randomize it 0 to 1 and this thing is maybe 1 sometime it will spawn more sometime it will spawn less and you will have that thing and if you don't make this like local you can like drag it and it will like it will be like this that means increase the spawn rate maybe 30 just to showcase you otherwise this is not
and I think the thickness is too high. So I'll go here and this point for seven, I guess. Cool. One more thing you can do, uh, and if this looks pixelated, you can just increase this just to showcase you. I'll decrease the spawn rate, maybe back to 10. Yeah. Cool. And that thing, that dissolve thing, you can improve that. I'll use my point two. I'll make it point six. This is point five, then six. So it will, yeah, and five, point. yeah. And one more thing you can do here, what you can do is randomize the tiling of this noise. So if I multiply this and then connect this here, and this is tile. So every ripple should not have like the same uh, size of the separation of the ring. So the tiling I will randomize in particle. So you just have to here, uh, like if I refresh, this is zero. If I make this one, this is one. If I make it like five, you will see this is very noisy now. So basically uh, you can randomize it. Like I'll go from one to maybe three. It has no more randomness. And of course you can add little randomness in the color. So I'll use the blue and I'll just randomize here a little bit, maybe like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, Cool. So this is how you can. And one more thing you can do, like you can copy and paste, decrease the spawn rate like uh, three and increase the size, maybe like two. So there will be some bigger one in between that will add some variation in it. I'll just make this like this. Cool. So this is how you make a stylized ripple effect. So I hope you liked it. And one more thing you can add if you want to add like distortion like uh, you want to make the ring uh, not properly uh, round you can do one thing so basically these are the things uh, you have this and this radial so what you can do you can use the same noise if you want and or maybe different noise if you want to use so let's say it has texture coordinates both so I will add something on the texture coordinate, this noise, and before adding, I'll just multiply. And let's make a parameter and see what happens there. So this is distort. So it will distort the radials. And let me show you. So here, if I just stop on one frame, this one, then we will do that in a, another one so this is proper round see in the dynamic parameter if i increase this value you can see it has now some variation so i don't want much but maybe 0 0.04 to minus 0 0.04 we can use so i'll just randomize it 0 0.0 maybe 3 minus 0 0.03 and we can just copy this and paste it on here on distortion so now these are not proper round cool 
so this is what you can do and one more thing uh, last one thing i'll just copy the first fountain again first emitter i'll delete this and take delete the renderer and take the sprite renderer and you will get this so i'll just make this alpha very subtle just to add something here and make the size maybe two and i think alpha maybe 0.5 very subtle so this is how you can make you can make it even more subtle just to add something there so this is it i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye